everybody, and this is just going to be a little fun one today, guys. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun one today. Fun, fun, fun. What we're going to do, I had a birthday Trader Joe's haul, okay? Now I say it like this, because me and my family went to brunch for my birthday. Well, the day after my birthday. And the place we went to had a Trader Joe's next door. And I haven't been to TJ's in a little bit. And I was really missing their beef jerky that I used to put in my Bloody Marys all the time. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, let's go to Trader Joe's. And then um, is there an Aldi's around here? Because I was out in the IE. And um, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an Aldi's about two miles from here. I'm like, okay, let's go get some beef jerky from Trader Joe's and then go to Aldi's and get some uh mangoes okay because the funny thing is is that <laughs> i've eaten all kinds of food on this channel before but the thing that has been um getting the most attention and the most like response is me eating these goddamn dried mangoes so this might end up just turning into a dried mango channel but um, since this was yesterday, I already ingested some of the things that I got from Trader Joe's. But um, I, I will tell you what those things were. I didn't have the Trader Joe's bag because it was big and stupid. So first off the bat, I always get these when I go to Trader Joe's. These green tea infused mints. These are so nice. They're, they don't overpower. They're, they're just good especially like if you just ate some ridiculous meal somewhere and like your stomach's like oh oh god why did you do this to me just have one of these you know you're fine like these are just great i love these i keep them in the car they're awesome love them all right so let's do the jerkies first because I did get a few jerkies, and we'll talk about it. So, first off, we have just the Trader Joe's natural, original beef jerky, okay? This is so good. Um, it says the ingredients are beef, brown sugar, sugar, water, salt, contains 2% or less of sea salt, cultured celery powder, or granulated gar garlic, granulated onion, and then spices. These bastards. Oh, this says you have to eat it within three days of opening it? I never knew that. Uh, okay. So, the regular Trader Joe's beef jerky. Let's take a look at that. Delicious looking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fucking eat it. Okay. It's very tender. If you've ever had... Because there's a little bit of spice to it, but it's not crazy. If you've ever had, like, um, Sweet Baby Ray's spicy barbecue sauce or something like that. Mm, so fucking good. It's kind of like that. Kind of like that. Not really like that, but... That's like the closest thing I could point to as far as flavor. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, I almost killed that whole bag. So now we're going to hit the teriyaki kind. Okay. Um, this looks like it has all the same stuff in it, except this has soy sauce in it, too. Yeah, it has exactly all the same stuff, but with soy sauce. So there's a nice little nug. Mm, very tender. I prefer the natural, like the original. But that's really good. 
Now, another thing I got, they have the turkey jerky there and stuff like that. But I saw this. Sweet and spicy buffalo jerky. This has all the same stuff as the regular beef jerky. But this has buffalo instead of beef. And I tried this last night and it was obviously delicious. But... Let's just take a look at that. Oh my gosh, look at those peppers in there. Mm. It's a little tougher than the beef jerky. Spice is a little, it hits, it hits pretty good. Mm. Okay, so I'm confused because I thought buffaloes were going extinct. And yet, I'm eating it right now. I've been saying that things have been going the way of the buffalo for a long time. But if buffalo is able for me to eat as jerky, I think they're fine. I don't think they're going the way of anything. I'm confused. Leave it in the comments if you know the answers to this. So, when we walked into TJ's, when we walked into TJ's, the first aisle you see across from the produce, nuts and dried fruit. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. And I know that Trader Joe's has this stuff, but I haven't been at Trader Joe's looking for that stuff since I've been on my huge nut seed dry fruit kick, okay? So here we go. These are some of the things that I got. Okay, I'm gonna show you that, and I'm gonna show you this. Okay, we're gonna start with this, because I told you guys, I said, I remember saying this, that you can't fuck up dried pineapple. I remember saying that, okay? You can fuck up dried pineapple, I have discovered. Because here, we have this. Dried baby sweet pineapple. Unsweetened and unsulfured. And I'm looking at the picture here, and I, I just think these are little flowers. Like, it's like a Hawaiian thing, like a luau, or like a, a lei or something. Okay? That's what I think. Then... I open this fucking thing up and let me show you what we got. This is what we got. What does that look like, guys? You're disgusting. Grow up. Grow up, guys. This is what we have here. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's okay. The texture's gross. So I don't know if these are actually flowers that grow on the pineapple or if this is the core of the pineapple and the little bits around the edges when they core a pineapple. And this is like, I don't know, this is like the lips and asshole of a fucking pineapple, like, the, like what a hot dog is. It's edible. It just is not satisfying. At all. This is gross. I don't even want to finish it. I'm not gonna. Do I throw it away? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So they had all these different kinds of dried pineapple. And all I saw on here was dried and pineapple. Okay? They had freeze dried, which I've had before, and it's kind of shit. They had all sorts of other stuff. I don't know why I picked this. I did, and I regret it horribly now. Not good. Then I saw this. This looks a lot like this. Okay? So I got excited. It says soft and juicy mango. Now get this. 
there's all different kinds of dried mango they have at Trader Joe's. They have like the like leathery bits, and they call them, I think they called them skins, dried mango skins. And just like with the pineapple, they had all these different kinds, but I could see through the bag, and I could see, and I could feel it, and I'm like, oh, I think I know what this is. Oh my god, so it's not even that different. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. This is some interesting factoids. We're going to get into some nitty gritty here, guys. So, I open this up. And I have one. Mmm. My God. Oh. Oh, my God. A little tougher. But not all of them were this tough. I think this one's just tougher. Okay. We're going to get into some nitty gritty here. Okay, guys? We're going to flip the motherfucking script. Because we're going to look at nutrition facts. Okay? Because these, right here, these are probably the second best dried mango I've ever had, okay? But the first dried mango is so effing good that being second to this is kind of like being the nicest guy in prison, okay? It's, there's not really a whole lot there. Like, being the second best when the first is so far and away better, like, what do we do? So I'm like, what is it? And then I'm like, I bet it's sugar. I bet they put more sugar in this than they do this. And then I started reading the back. So first off, I cannot have you pinging at me while I'm getting into the weeds on mangoes. So here's the deal. I'm like, okay, let's look at sugar. I looked at this one. And I'm like, oh, total sugar is 26 grams. That sounds like a lot, right? Then I looked at this one, which seems not as sweet at all. And this one has 21 grams of total sugars. And I'm like, what? 26 to 21? I thought it would be way far apart than that. And then I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's the added sugars. Okay, so I look, and this one is um, 21 grams of added sugars. That sounds like a lot. That's 42% of your daily value. This is why I'm not losing weight, guys, because I've been eating these. But then I look at these, and this one only has 9% added sugars, and that's 18% of your daily value. Okay, so I'm like, okay. So these ones are a little more healthy for me, I guess, right? But wait, but wait. Then I looked at dietary fiber, okay? Dietary fiber is how you lose weight, okay? For I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there going, that's not true, whatever. I think it's true. Okay, so this one right here, look it up. Just Google it. Don't ever listen to anything I fucking say. This one here has two grams of dietary fiber, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't really seem like a lot. This one, however, has only one gram of dietary fiber. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. So this one does have more sugar, more added sugar, but it also has more dietary fiber. So I'm like, okay. So let's get to protein, because we need protein, right? Oh, and I did I tell you this one has one and this one has two of the dietary fiber? Yeah, okay. So in protein, this has one gram of protein. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. This one has less than one gram of protein. And I'm sitting here going, how is any of this possible, right? I'm like, it's a fucking mango. Like, how much shit can you fuck up on a mango? Um, this one has more sodium. It has um, 70 milligrams of sodium, whereas this one only has 25 milligrams of sodium. Okay? But... Neither of these have any fat, 
okay? Saturated or trans or any other kind. So I'm like, okay, let's get to fucking calories, okay? Let's fuck this up here. So as you can see here, this one, the one that does not taste as good, has 120 calories. This one that tastes better is 140. And so now we're starting to put this together, right? Like, oh, the one that tastes better is probably worse for me, even though there's more dietary fiber and more protein, but it also has more sugar, so. But then, look at the serving size, guys. This is where things fuck you. The serving size for the 120 calorie one is only three pieces at 35 grams, whereas the serving size for this one is six slices at 40 grams. So you could eat more of these and like if you were only eating three of each, they probably would be exactly the same is what I'm thinking. So let me get a good piece out of here to show you the difference between, this one's actually kind of a skinnier piece. Mm. Quack, quack, quack. And we'll get a nice little piece out of here. Because I think I ate all the skinny pieces out of here earlier. Well, that's a really big piece. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. Okay, well you can't see it because I just fucking licked it. So, here, let's do it like this. That's probably better. So these are the two. This is the one that's better than this one. This one's more flippy floppy because it's a skinnier one. And this one's a little thicker. But you have to remember, I opened this bag yesterday and all the little skinny pieces like this, I already ate. Okay, so they're almost the same length. They're pretty similar, except this one's just a little thicker. Mm. So good. Very similar. This one's a little more chewy. Hmm. Oh man. Putting them together makes a super mango. Ah. Oh. That's it. That's how we got to do this. So anyway, long story short, I think they're about the same. And typically, I only eat three of these at a time anyway. Um, so I don't know. I mean, this one here says three pieces and there's five servings per container. This one is six pieces, and it's four and a half servings per con container. Like, I think it's kind of a toss up, but these ones do fucking taste better, these ones here. But again, it's probably the sugar. Okay, so, what makes Trader Joe's different from Aldi's other than the fact that Trader Joe's is posh and bougie as shit? Here's the deal. Oh, and I didn't even show you the last thing I got. Oh, how fucking dumb am I? So when we were walking through, I did spot this, another one of my favorite things, chocolate coconut almonds. And I'm like, oh no, is this dark chocolate? It is dark chocolate, but it doesn't say dark chocolate for some reason. Whatever. Okay. I love these from Aldi's, okay? So um, let me try to bite one in half so you can see it. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's chocolate, coconut, almond okay so fucking good as far as flavor goes i like the aldi's ones better but here's what i'm gonna say the containers are about the same size okay but look at this one it's got a flat bottom, okay? 
This is about the only time a flat bottom is a good thing, guys. Because at Aldi's, this right here, this whole little square, it goes in. So it's not as much. You get less. The almonds themselves, the chocolate coconut things, are actually bigger in the Aldi's box than they are in here. But um, you get less pieces and just less weight in total with the Aldi's one. Prices. Everything you get at Trader Joe's is going to cost more, for the most part. This costs more than it does at all these. Um, this nasty ass, whatever the fuck it is, costs more at Trader Joe's than it does at all these. This at all these, I think, is like three or four bucks. This was like five ninety nine. Okay. Now, here's the other thing, though. At Aldi's, their beef jerky, the bags are really little, and um, they're about $4.99. I think some of them are a little higher, some of them are a little lower. These big-ass bags of beef jerky, which there is definitely more in at Trader Joe's, are only $5.99. So I think you get a better deal with the jerky at Trader Joe's, but with everything else, I honestly think the... All these prices are better, and with everything I've tasted so far, the flavor, not the jerky, we're talking about everything else, the flavor at all these is better, but you get more of this and the jerky, but you get more of this at Trader Joe's. Now, there was two things that I finished before um, making this video, because I was just fucking thirsty. Oh my god. So what those things were, were I got a little bottle of Trader Joe's coconut water. Which for some reason is like a pale pink and it looks like Pedialyte. It was okay. It does not taste as good as the Vita Coca or um, even the Bai coconut, but that has caffeine in it too, so whatever. It was just okay. Then they had this other little bottle called a Coconut Smoothie, and the two ingredients in it were coconut water and blended coconut meat, like the white shit from inside the coconut. Here's the deal. I had that for breakfast today. That tasted good, but for some reason, it didn't taste like coconut. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it tasted like, and you're, you guys are going to lose your shit. Especially those of you out there who don't like coconut, okay? What it tasted like. Okay, you ready for this? It tasted like the leftover milk in a cereal bowl that had frosted flakes in it for a long time. That's exactly what coconut smoothie tasted like. So, if you like the milk at the bottom of a bowl of frosted flakes, but you don't like coconut, stop what you're doing, go to Trader Joe's, and get a bottle of the coconut smoothie. It does not taste like coconut. It tastes like fucking frosted flakes. Okay? There it is. That is my roundup and my wrap up of my birthday TJ's haul. Let me know if you like any of this stuff and let me know down below. And if you think there's anything that I'm missing at either Trader Joe's or Aldi's that you think I would like, let me know what those are. And if you know of a better place to get any of this stuff, let me know. And I will say this, the Bridgeford beef jerky at Walmart this might be sacrilege. I think that's some of the best beef jerky in the world. Especially if you don't like tough beef jerky, that is the tenderest, softest beef jerky in the world that I've ever fucking had. Um, I prefer the sweet and spicy kind, but I'm just letting you know that's really good on top of it. Okay? So, 
I wasn't going to say type hard, but fuck it. Just eat some shit and drink some cereal water. And I'll talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.